What grade were you in when you met Mr. Amar? I was nine years old and in the fourth grade when I met Mr. Amar. How did he change or, or affect you both then and now? Uh, Mr. Amar affected me in many ways, as a lot of people will tell you. Um, he affected many people in the using the English language and uh, literature and grammar and um, but I think the way that he most affected me was with his life lessons that he threw in between all of his other lesson plans and he at a young age taught you to you know appreciate yourself to challenge yourself um, I vividly remember one time when he uh, at a parent-teacher conference told me that I wasn't trying my best even though it was still an A he said I should still strive for an A plus because he saw in me that I can do more and he was trying to reach me reach to me to get me to challenge myself and that's something that I try to do now and something that I carried in college and something that I will continue to carry with me is that no one else will challenge you um, except for yourself. But it, yeah, that's a life lesson that back then I didn't truly understand but have learned to understand now. Do you remember a lesson that he taught you that still affects you to this day? A lesson that he taught me was to you don't ever stop learning. You're never you never just stop becoming a student. Um, you are a student of life. And it's something that you carry with you and you, you always need to learn new things and challenge yourself and be able to um, appreciate a challenge and learn from that challenge. And as you do do that, even if it's something that you, don't, you aren't as passionate about, you'll grow from it. Um, it just reminds me of something that he had brought up once, which was a, a, a passage from Corinthians, which basically says, if you think that you know everything, you actually know nothing. Um, and I think that best describes how um, myself as an adult now, we tend to try to think that we know everything, even within our own universe. And, you know, in reality, we might not know everything. What would you tell a middle schooler who seems to be losing a little interest in learning um, to inspire him the way Amar inspired you? I would say that, as I mentioned before, that they were all students. Everybody is learning something new. Um, you know, whether it be Pluto wasn't a planet to now it is a planet again to, um, you know, new forms of math and science and even English works and art. Um, there's always something that you can learn and appreciate in life. And that's something that makes you a more well-rounded person. Um, and that, I think, is what Mr. Amar's uh, goal was as a teacher, was to make us as well-rounded as possible so that we can be better students and more importantly better people.